On the Health Watch tonight, local health officials say they're moving forward with planned H1N1 school clinics, despite the supply of the vaccine being rather tentative. News 3's Jessica Arp joins us now with the latest on the H1N1 preps, Jess. Well, Susan, concerns on all fronts have the health department and United Way 211 lines busy. When can I get the shot? Is the shot safe? Tonight, preparations are being made to get the shot to people who need it and let others know it's okay to take. So what I'm going to do is just put half a dose on one side of your nostril, give you a minute, and then I'll put it on the other side. To vaccinate adult health care workers is one thing. To do the same with 80,000 school children is another. It's going to be uh, quite an effort and really unprecedented, I think, as far as public health in Dane County's recent history. Clinics scheduled for schools Monday have been postponed. The health department only has about 500 doses so far and are expecting 6,000 missed and injectable H1N1 vaccines by next week in order to start clinics Tuesday. Once we get rolling with the school clinics too, we can see you know, what percentage of parents are signing the consent forms and get some ideas to how much it takes. But right now we are assuming high. We're staffing as if most kids will be immunized. That's despite some concern among parents that the vaccine isn't safe, but the health department assures it is. It has been tested uh, in several hundred uh, volunteers over the summer and not one of those volunteers have had any serious reaction at all. And as vaccines start to roll in, plans are already being made for public clinics, as some are concerned they can't get the shot from their own doctors. There's uneasiness now in, in, uh, among physicians, so that when people call their doctor's offices, a lot of times they're just said, they're, they're told that, you know, we can't do anything for you, we don't have any vaccine. Um, but they will get it, and they will get it soon. Now, the health department does say they're ready to adjust as vaccine supply comes and goes, and they'll move any clinics around accordingly. Well, there was some breaking news this afternoon that raised some more concern about some pigs at the, where was it, the Minnesota State Fair that tested, were being tested for H1N1. So what is that all about? Well, that's right. They are being tested. It would be the first cases of novel H1N1 in the U.S. swine herd. But the government and National Pork Board want everyone to know, and this is very important, you cannot get H1N1 from eating or handling pork. It is a respiratory virus, not a foodborne illness, something really to make sure everyone knows. Mm -hmm. No, very, very good to clarify because there's still a lot of confusion about that. Jessica, our reporting tonight. Just thank you.